Hello guys, this is Dabs Nishmil. Previously, you could easily embed Google Maps in your project without going through any long procedure. By simply going to Toolbox, under Advanced, you select your ready-to-use JavaScript and you select Google Maps from here. You go ahead and click on OK and you preview in your browser. But as you can see, there is a problem. It says what? Something went wrong. Google has updated its maps and this time around, you need an API key before you'll be able to embed Google Maps in your project. So now let's go ahead and see how we can create our, our API key. I'll go ahead and open my browser. That is, um, open this particular link, developers.google.com slash map slash web. This link is going to be provided in the description of this video. So when you look at the right hand side, there's a button that says get a key. Go ahead and click on the button. This is the procedure you are supposed to follow before you can get to your API key. So go ahead and click on continue. It's going to take a while to load. So let's wait as it loads. So uh, it's done loading and um, the instructions are going to come right shortly. So these are the instructions and it says here that is select a project where you, your application will be registered. You click on the drop down arrow. These are the projects you can select. In our case, you are not going to select any project. We just go ahead and click on continue. So this is going to take a while. If you look at the right hand side of my window, you see it's loading here. So this is going to take some while to load for us to get our API key. So I'm going to go ahead to pause this video. When it's done, we'll continue from there. So it has finished loading. There are more options we need to follow for us to generate our API key. So here we have use this key in your web application. So you can go ahead and give this particular key a name. In my case, I'm going to leave this as it says over here. And here it says accept request from these HTTP refer. So you can specify websites you want your map to be able to show on. In my case, I want my map to be shown on any website I that is I create. So I'm not going to specify any website link over here. I'll go ahead and click on create button here. And it's going to take a while to generate my API key. So let's wait a while to generate the API key. So as you can see, my API key has been generated. It's bled out a little bit because this is my private API key. You might want to generate your own API key. So I'll go ahead and copy my API key here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll come back to my project. I'll double click in my maps. And as you can see, there's a part that says developer key. So I'll go ahead and paste my API key here. So let me just get that right. And uh, as you can see here, too, it has been bled out because this is my private API key. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now let's go ahead and preview in our browser again. So as you can see, our map has been loaded correctly in our project. So like I said, Google has updated it maps and this time around, you need an API key for your maps before you be able to embed Google maps in your project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.